Hi, this is Ryan from Better Tattooing, and today we're going to be letting you know when it's safe to get in a hot tub after you get a tattoo. All right. <laughs> Okay, now that's over with. When is it safe to get in a hot tub after you get a tattoo? It's pretty simple. You're not gonna like me with this one, but it is when you are healed. This thing's bouncing all over the place. <laughs> when you're healed. Okay, why, right? I know, of course. And what does it mean to be healed? Because everyone heals differently, right? Okay, so we'll go over the whys first and then we can go over the healing part, right? So chlorine pools, saltwater pools, hot tubs, rivers, lakes, streams, all of them have contaminants in them, right? We try to keep them clean or clean enough to enter into uh, by using treatment stuff. I mean, you can't do it with rivers and things like that. Um, but, you know, if you're going to get in a hot tub and you think it's safe because it's got chlorine, that's, that's not really true. Um, chlorine can only kill certain things, uh, especially in certain quantities that are even safe enough to get into after you, can, um, well, after you shock the pool or do something else, right? So anyways, there's going to be fungi... Uh, there's going to be viruses, protozoa, stuff like that, that live in the hot tub. They may have been introduced, they may be there naturally, that are only going to be dangerous to you if you have a break in your skin, right? Um, you can't get rid of them with chlorine, regardless of what's going on. I mean, if you test them and they pop positive, you're usually supposed to drain, clean, do a bunch of stuff to get rid of the infection. If you haven't done that before you go to get in there after getting a, a tattoo, you can die. There is uh, people who have died from this. Uh, we have a link in the uh, the description below that will take you to the website if you want to know more. Uh, see the paper that actually describes these things. Uh, you can find it on the FDA website, I think, as well. CDC, there's a couple on the NCBI. Um, so it's like it's not something to joke around with. If you're not healed, you should not get into a hot tub or a pool, or river, lake, stream, anything like that, because you can pick up an infection. That, that tattoo is a wound. It's an opening in your body for invading things to get into and cause you illness, right? So that's one reason. Another reason why you get into a hot tub, if your epidermis has been damaged, that's, that's like a protective layer in your body, right? Hot tubs are hot. Uh, if you've damaged that protective layer, you can get burned from the water. It's not good. Uh, there's nothing like having a tattoo done while it's healing, you decide, oh, I need this comfortable, relaxing dip, and then you get a second degree burn on top of your tattoo, right? Ugh, that just actually makes me cringe a little bit. I'll go through my notes here as well, right? Um, and the other thing you can do is, I mean, like, let's say you, you do decide to go into it, and I think, I don't know, I'm old enough now where I can admit to it. I've gotten into a hot tub, had a couple drinks, got out, and been pretty messed up, right? If you decide to do that, even if you don't drink, if you get in, you get a light, a little bit lightheaded, you get out of the tub, you trip and fall, you could damage your tattoo. I mean, like, that's probably the least, like, uh, worrisome thing that you could, you know, go through if you get into a hot tub, considering you could die from a blood infection. But... It still can happen, right? So these are things that we just need to make sure that we're always like paying attention to and staying aware of because like a tattoo is a wound. It's, a, it's not only a permanent cosmetic modification to your body, but it's something that opens you up to the outside world that can cause you illness, right? So now that's out of the way. How do we know when we're healed? Uh, it's pretty easy. If you have scabs or sloughing that is still on top of your body, uh, or on top of the area where the tattoo was at. We can go over this one here. I apologize as well, I'm pretty tired today. Um, the babies, I can't even spell, and I can't multitask. This is what happens when I try to multitask. Scabs or sloughing. Um, yeah, the babies were up quite a bit last night and we're potty training in the house right now. So it's, it's, it's a piss fiesta. I don't know what else to say. That's, I don't know if I'm gonna cut that out anyways. If you see scabs or sloughing on top of the skin, this means your body's still trying to heal, right? Especially if you see scabs. Now, a scab is gonna be where the tissues were damaged well below where the actual tattoo should even be. I mean, this could be even like down past all of your skin, down into the subcutaneous tissues. You know, uh, if the skin's been overworked, or maybe it was, it was done perfectly with the tattoo. The artist did a fantastic job. You, you went home and your dog or cat scratched it. You knocked it into something. You know, there's a, another type of mechanical influence that caused it to happen. Uh, and you ended up with a scab. You gotta wait till that scab is totally gone 
and all the way healed, no, no even glossiness on top of the skin until you get back into a hot tub, just to decrease those chances of you picking up the infection. I mean, once the scab is done, if there's no pitting in the skin and it does look like it's smooth, you don't feel anything you know, on top of it and the rest of the tattoo is healed, you can probably get into a hot tub safely, but just to be safe, you wanna make sure that there's gonna be deeper healing through those tissues. So if you see glossiness on top of it, just stay out for another week or so. Uh, sloughing, on the other hand, is just the normal process of shedding skin after getting a tattoo. Normally it's gonna look like you had a, a sunburn, right, a light sunburn, uh, maybe a light chemical peel, something like that, where the skin looks like it's just lightly flaking and coming off, it could be colored or not. Uh, when you're seeing sloughing, that does not mean that your skin is safe to get into a hot tub either, right? It's still healing. It's rebuilding that epidermal layer, and that's what that skin that's coming off is, right? And that epidermal layer is, once again, that protective part of our body. So we want all of the sloughing to be gone and off, not, and we don't want to remove it and be like, oh, it's off, we can go get in the hot tub. No, just, if it falls off naturally, wait another two days, then you should be good to go, right? Um, I'm, but I'm always gonna say, if, if you have to question if your tattoo is healed, it probably isn't. And if you're kind of being like, well, I don't know, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, wait another week. That's the rule of thumb, right? Wait another week, look at it, and if you're like, oh, I still don't know if it's healed, wait another week. If you look at it, you're like, that's healed, you, like, yeah, you know, like, you know your body, you can trust it. And when in doubt, talk to a doctor. I am not a medical professional. I write science, but I'm not an MD. So when in doubt, go talk to your doctor. If your doctor looks at it and says, that's healed, you're good to go, you're good to go. Otherwise, if you don't want to go to the doctor, you don't like them, you don't have health insurance, if you live in the United States, looking at you Americans, then you know you can just, just wait. There's nothing wrong with that. And it's better to wait than risk your life. Anyways. That's it for today. This is Ryan from Better Tattoo and signing off.